I feel like you're gonna get a legendary from your first encounter. I just feel it. It's gonna be a legendary. Uh. Did you get to the starters yet? I'm there now. Ooh. Are you there too? I am. I'm opening the bag. Oh no! What are you getting? What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Lando! 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 Hate my life. A few inches later. I got a Mewtwo. A Mega Mewtwo. Why? <laughs> What's up, YouTube? It's your Pancake Wizard here, back with another series with Slightly Salty. We are not doing a rival lock this time. Nope, we are doing a lockout. So before I get into what a lockout is, uh, before we get into what a lockout is, why don't you say hello to the people, Salty? I was waiting so long for that, but <laughs> boys, girls, cats, girls, what is going on? My name is Lay Salty. How are y'all doing today? Dude, I was like, I was like bouncing back and forth the entire time, and then you just weren't introducing to me, and I'm just like, all right, I'll just be sad. <laughs> I'll just be sad. <laughs> <laughs> so, we actually were going to do a rival lock. Um, we've been bouncing around ideas as to what series we wanted to do for a while. And the reason for that is um, I'll flash a layout on the screen right now. So, what we're doing right now is Lockout. It was created by United Gamer and Game Boy Luke. And if you haven't seen their series, there's going to be a playlist link below. If you want to watch theirs and see how they did it, you can. We'll get into our rule set later. But basically, me and Salty were going to do a lockout, but it was titled a block, a, what do you call it? I can't remember. A block, block lock. A block lock. And basically, it's the same, it was the same exact thing. We recorded it, we were getting ready to post it, and then Game Boy Luke and... We had it yeah. prepped and planned for two months. We recorded it, and then Legends was coming out. So we're like, I We'll let the Legends hype die, and then we'll post it after Legends. So, like, a week or two after Legends was posted, uh, came out, we were going to post it, and then they posted their video, like, two days before Legends came out. Yeah, it was really frustrating. So, we, we were going to do it anyways. We decided, no, we're not going to do it. Let's just scrap it um, for a while. We've been throwing around ideas as to what series we wanted to, to do next. It's kind of why it took us so long to get back here to making another yeah. video series. But we ultimately decided, after almost doing an Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire rival lock, you know what? Screw it. Let's just do it as a lockout instead. No one has done one yet. Not that we can see. There's still only one on the platform. So let's do one. Let's get our brand of the lockout into the world. So that's why we're here. So I hope you guys are excited. If you are, make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you sub to Salty if you're on my channel. Um, because I know that he would appreciate the love. Um, other than that, though, uh, let's get into the rules. Because I'm sure Well, and also curious. vice versa. Vice versa, if you're here on my channel, on Slightly Salty, be sure to go and sub the Pancake channel. Because the episodes do flop back and forth, as exactly. always. Exactly. So this is a Nuzlocke, just like usual. And it, obviously, uh, the, I'm sure if you're here, you know what a Nuzlocke is. We just got a nickname every Pokemon. We get one Pokemon per route. Um, if Pokemon dies, it's gone forever. We can release it or box it. And, you know, it's all just for those emotional bonds and making the game harder. The fun part is the lockout rules, though. So I'm going to let Salty explain those because um, I'm, I don't like talking that much. Yeah. And if you watched if you watched Game Boy Luke and United Gamers uh, lockout, our rules are kind of similar. But there are some, like, the main, the main rule is the same. However, some of the backburner rules are a little different because they were having a lot of difficulty with how they were going to balance it. And we've actually had these rules. These were our block out rules. Uh, sorry, our block lock rules that we're just porting over to the lockout um, because they still act essentially the same way as lockout. So rule number one, both parties cannot have the same primary type of Pokemon on their team at the same time. Once one party has caught a Pokemon, that Pokemon's primary mm -hmm. type is blocked for the other. So if I catch a Charmander, Pancake can no longer have fire type Pokemon. Well, primary fire type Pokemon on his team. He's blocked from it. So, each team essentially gets to block six primary typings. Rule number two, both parties must be vocal and honest whenever their Pokemon dies and whenever they catch a Pokemon as it unblocks and blocks that typing for the other player, right? So, I catch a Charmander. Hey, Pancake, I just catch, I just caught a Charmander. You're blocked from fire. We also have a dock that we're going to be updating live throughout the series and throughout the playthrough just for me and Pancake um, about, like, what are the primary types that are blocked for each other. Um, so we got to be vocal and we got to let each other know the second one of our Pokemon dies because if I'm still in a battle and my Charmander dies, Pancake could run back to the Pokemon Center and take a fire type on his team before I can do it. Exactly. Rule number three. Yeah. Ooh. Rule number three, if a player's encounter is a primary type that is currently being blocked by the other party, then the player may choose to re-roll their encounter once to see if they can get an unblocked typing. So, gonna stick with the Charmander. I've got Charmander, it's a fire type. Pancake goes, gets an encounter, and it's a Typhlosion. Well, I'm blocking Fire-type. 
he can re-roll his encounter once. Now, if he re-rolls it and runs into another Typhlosion, that's, a, that's his encounter. He has to catch it. However, if he gets something like a Mareep, I'm not blocking the electric typing. Well, even if I am blocking the electric typing, he has to catch that Pokemon. That's his encounter now. That's It's just a way, like especially early on, to try to build our team more and not get blocked constantly by each other. Exactly. Also, I will say... If you want to catch a Pokemon, you can catch it at any time. So this yeah. series, this series did kind of get a little weird, as you saw. We had some technical issues, but in the last recording, Salty Starter was a Flygon, and my Route One encounter was a Landorus, and I decided to catch the Landorus just in case Salty's Flygon ever died. I would have a good ground type in the box I could pick. So you could always make the decision to catch the good Pokemon and keep it just in case you win a block battle and you can block that type and then go pick up a Pokemon. Yeah, so Pancake's talking about a failed recording session that we hadn't discussed yet. We'll talk about it a bit later after the rolls. <laughs> about what happened with that and why you're not seeing that. Ooh, water. All right. All right. Something was stuck in my throat. Rule number four, after every gym battle, there will be a lockdown. Now, what's a lockdown? Let's get into it. It's very similar to a cage match. After every gym... Me and Pancake will go into a full 6v6 battle with the parties we brought into the gym. Now, if Pokemon died in the gym, then they're not being used in lockdown, obviously. You're going with whatever Pokemon remain after your gym battle. Once the gym battle is complete, you cannot teach TMs, you cannot put new items. The Pokemon you bring are the Pokemon you're bringing into the lockdown. Rule number two for the lockdown, both parties will be set automatically to level 50. Also, these battles will be taking place in showdown, but we will be exporting our save directly from the game so that way we're using the stats the sets everything that's in the game in showdown so that's gonna be great rule number three the winner of the block battle gets to choose one extra type to block from the loser's team now this could be a pokemon type that pancake currently has blocked let's say i win pancake has a fully stacked team i'm like nah i don't like how many dragons you have i'm blocking you from dragon pancake now has to box all of his dragon type pokemon and he can only unblock that typing at the next lockdown match the next lockdown match if he were to win it that the dragon typing gets unblocked and he gets to block in one extra typing only one extra typing will be blocked at a time so it's just a way to kind of balance it because if we were blocking an extra type completely for the other team <laughs> that means yeah. i could block him with my six primary typing pokemon in my party plus eight more pokemon bringing it up to what 14 mm -hmm. that and means i only, only have three I, i'd have what two types for my whole game Three. Oh, no. three. There's, there's seven three. Yeah, there's, there's fairy in this game, so there's, I would only have three. Three available. So it's unfair, so one player could only be blocking seven types at one time. Unless somebody whites out. I'm sure you're talking about that next. Yep. And now we get into <laughs> the whiteout rules. The rules that we made for the whiteout. If a player is to white out, they must box their entire team forever. All the Pokemon are dead. And build a new team from their box. Uh, from their box. Jesus. <laughs> However, the player that didn't white out, so let's say I white out, Pancake didn't. I got to go rebuild my entire team from my box. However, to make it fair and make it a little more challenging, Pancake gets to block one type that I cannot rebuild with. Now, it's just for the rebuild from the Pokemon in my box. So if he sees I've got a Salamence in my box, he's like, you're not, you're not using Dragon Typing. So I could use any other Typing besides Dragon Typing. Once I'm done the rebuild, then I can unlock the Dragon Typing. But that still means I can't go back to my box and just pick up the Salamence until after we beat a gym. Or, I would say, I want to add an extra rule to this. Unless you find one in the wild and you can catch one again, yeah, that, it's just that from, would also unblock it. Pretty much, it. Pretty much it blocks the dragon typing from your box. Yeah, it blocks the, it until blocks the, next the box. Gym. It blocks the yeah, box. it blocks the box. Until the next gym. Yeah. Whether you win or lose the next gym, it still unblocks that typing. Yeah, you ready, Salty? I'm ready. You're at the title screen? No, I'm at the English screen. Give me a second. <laughs> okay. Hit A on the English. Hit A again. Get to your Alpha Sapphire title screen. Guys, it's not a race. We're still doing this together. However, it's a race to get our first encounters right now because we want to try to block the other person. So we're both going to start at the title screen and then we're going to get with it. Oh, I'm ready, Salty. Are you ready? I'm ready. You're ready. Three, two, one. Here we go. Ooh, 
All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So now, get in, now get that we're in this, we could talk about the other series. Yeah, more. yeah, yeah. We definitely. So here's what happened. So we recorded the first ep- batch of episodes. Four um, episodes. Yeah, four whole episodes. Two um, hours of recording. Salty was legitimately washing me. By the way, like he had ground fire water, um, f- like I grass. Thank you. Pancake literally lost in episode two. His yep. first, the first randomization, he got a Mew as a starter. I got a Mew. But then lost in episode two, we reset, and then I was washing him in the next two episodes. Completely and utterly washing me because of the types. Like there's a there's a there's a bit of randomization luck in this game. What types you get? And Salty got oh, all of absolutely. it. Absolutely. Salty got literally all of it in that. Now Pancake recording. was getting those types too, but he was only getting them after me yep so right after salty would like get a water type i would pull a water type after he got a fire type i'd pull a fire type and i was getting completely ruined um so even though i was kind of excited to try and fight back and win that series because the only thing in this series that matters is the final fight the thing that i i'm excited to do a re-roll and, and see what we can do i almost named myself tanner instead of pancake jesus christ what am i doing well i went to saltine obviously but yeah it was just um, but pretty much, uh, just on the technical side, why was it a failed recording session? Um, I had done some audio settings for another series I was recording. Um, I just changed up some settings and I thought I had changed them all back, but I didn't. And not changing them all back, what it happened was I recorded on different tracks and all four tracks were the exact same thing. All four tracks had my audio, uh, my voice audio, so my mic audio, my gameplay audio, and my discord audio. So it was unsalvageable, and it wasn't, like, at good levels. Like, my voice and my game were super high, and then Discord mm-hmm. was super low. Exactly. So there, we ch- I, we tried for a while to try and fix this, and we, we couldn't. So that's why you're seeing Episode 1 go up on Tuesday instead of Saturday. Saturday, um, like it was supposed to. It was supposed to go Saturday, and we were supposed to immediately hop into the schedule, which Pancake flashed before. Um, yep. However, you're seeing this go up on Tuesday. You'll see it today. You'll see it tomorrow over on my channel. Episode 1's on both. And then we'll restart the actual schedule on Saturday. Exactly. So, hope you guys are excited about this. I'm really pumped to be playing. Finally, I feel like we're finally getting into this series the right and real way. I feel like you're going to get a legendary from your first encounter. I just feel it. It's going to be a legendary. Dude, I was just giggling. Um, So, you guys on my camera side probably just saw a random, like, stick go across my screen. Uh, my cat just no s- stick. <laughs> <laughs> I did not say dick. I said stick. Um, it was my cat's tail. My cat just jumped on my desk because one of her favorite spots, rather than being a normal cat and just jumping from the floor to the spot, she has to jump on my desk first, which is literally an inch smaller than the actual spot. It's an inch <laughs> less high. And yet she jumps on my desk first and then onto her spot, which is on top of my dog crate. My dog's Dang. crate. Dang. That sounds like fun. There's like, there's like a blanket on top of my dog's crate. <laughs> um, just because we had put it there one day. And then she was like, you know what? This is my new favorite spot. So now we're not allowed to move it. That's her spot now, man. You can't do anything. I can't. Well, you can't, it, you can't deprive suck. her from that spot. Well, she's going to be losing it soon. Well, as you know, and I'm sure a lot of you know too, because I've been very vocal about it. I'm moving in literally a month from today, June 1st. Uh, well, wow. the day we're recording this, we're recording this on May 1st. I'm moving in exactly a month and um, we're actually going to be trying to free roam my dog throughout the day, even when we're not here. So we're in, the cage is going to be like put in storage. Uh, makes sense. Not a lot of space or just don't want to use it anymore? Um, A, not a lot of space, and B, like, me and Amanda both work 8 to 5 now. It's a little unfair to have mm-hmm. her in a crate from yeah, 8 to 5. Um, and we we really wanted to try free roaming her here, but I've also been vocal about how, like, my floor came off. Mm-hmm. The park, um, uh, the parquet in my living room just came off. The parquet. And, um, and because of that, some pieces are loose, and my dog was chewing on the pieces. Ooh. So... We don't really want to let come home and then all the loose pieces are just chewed. Did you get to the starters yet? Up. I'm there now. Ooh. Are you there too? I am. I'm, I'm opening cute. the bag. Oh no, what are you getting? What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Lando, 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 Lando. I Lando. fucking hate my life. Oh fuck, I got Scyther, Rufflet. Fuck, that was Scyther. I got bug. I got bug. You got bug? I got, I got Lando. Bug. I forgot to open up the dock. Yeah, I saw that. I deleted all your stuff. 
Oh, shit. This is a good move set. Same, 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 same. You got Fissure? I've got Fissure, Rock Throw, Mud Shot, and Block. The thing, the thing that I like about that you having Lando right now is that if I can secure Ice, Lando's trash. So... <laughs> I do have Rock-type moves, though, right now. Yeah, I guess, but still. And I, I mean, have a feeling it's pure power. Most of, I... <laughs> just have a feeling. Just got a, <laughs> feeling. a feeling. I got a feeling. <laughs> uh, We're gonna name a genie. Ew, that's so terrible. Give it a good name. Named a genie. Dude, no time, no time. If I had time to think about it, then I would. <laughs> no, 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 you're just trying to be, you're just trying to go fast. I got Rock 2, Mudshot, Block, and Fissure. Am your I ability? allowed Oko moves in the Block Lock? In Lockdown? Um, I want to say no, but sure. <laughs> I mean, it's only 30% accurate. Yeah, that would be so annoying, dude. Oh my god. I mean, I do, I do have no guard, so it's 100% accurate. But you have no guard? No, there's no. No, I'm lying. I don't, I'm lying, I don't, I'm lying. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I was like, no, that'd be garbage. <laughs> I've got like a a healing ability. Ooh, I could get Blossom in route I've one. I've got like a status healing. Ooh, I can get Gothitel. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's amazing. I mean, it's not as great as it is with Shadow Tag, but like, it's still good. Mm, I'm actually kind of- I got Liquid Ooze. Ooh, that's good. That's good. What is it again? Oh, it's a Bug-type. It's Scyther. So, like, it's not the greatest because, like, am I really going to go for a Grass-type move on that thing? No. No, but they could- I mean, like... Draining Kiss I can't use either. Mm -hmm. and, like, Yo, if you I have to... Blossom on my first route, too. Really? Yeah! I'm just trying to get like a little bit of experience. I just want to get make this first flight go real easy for me, even though I know it probably will. Uh, I'm fine. She either has a Cricketot or a Carbink. Wow. Cricketot oh, or I really, Carbink? I really lucked out, man, with the Lando. My other two options were Cricketot and Carbink. Uh, mine were, mine were Feebas and uh, Rowlet. Not Rowlet, uh, Rufflet. Rufflet. I was going to say, and, well, it's not in this game. And I would have picked Rufflet, but it evolves at level, like, 45. And I'm like, yeah. ooh, that's not good. I mean, I would Dude, secure that, normal, but... If that thing was, like, level... Like, if it was, like, a level 20, 25 evolution, then I would say it's worth. Oh, if it was a Braviary off the rip, I'd pick Braviary, 100%. Oh, absolutely. Bra Braviary is such a good mon, too. Oh, dude, it's physical attack stats amazing. I know. My fa dude, so it's really funny because you have a Lando right now. La Lando Braviary is my favorite, like one of my favorite VGC stacks, especially really? in, in Gen Eight. It's so good. Really? Yep. He has a cricket dot. I'm good. Let's rock tomb this bad boy. You're a lucky boy. I think I think mine. I think she's gonna have a freaking rufflet. Which means I don't think I'll ever fight her with a Braviary. I don't think she'll ever be high enough level. No, no, she has Feebass, everyone. Which means she might Ooh, get a Milotic. Yeah, she'll get a Milotic. Actually, I don't know if she will because Milotic, Milotic evolves via contests in this, doesn't it? No, it's Beauty. No. I think it's... Does it? No, no. It's not contest, but I think it's beauty. Yeah, it's beauty, but I think, like, to get the beauty rate ranking, you need it. You need to do contests. No, in Gen 6, you can use items and stuff, but still. Um, can you? Mm-hmm. You can... They added, like, the Pokey and Me thing that you can... If you play with them, you can... Um, yep, yeah, Pokey and Me is not in this. It's not in Oras. It's in uh, X and Y. I'm pretty sure you can still use it in this game, or at least a version mm -hmm. of it, because I don't think you have to do. Um, well, because that's how Sylveon evolved. Sylveon evolved via Poke Ame. It used to. Now it's right. friendship with a uh, friendship with a fairy type move. Oh yeah, true. Because then it, what what move does it even learn? Is it Sweet Kiss? Baby Dolls. Oh, yeah. Baby Dolls. I really don't want to talk to my mother. Oh, are you talking to your mom right now? She speaks for way too long. 
Oh, me and you are at the same point. You already beat the May? I did. Ooh. I mean, Scyther is not something to scoff at, my dude. I know it was just a rufflet, so I thought you were like still kind of training or something. Nah, it was a, it was it was a feebas for Gucci. One one oh, quick yeah, attack and that. it was basically dead. You said that. I don't know why I didn't even think about it. <laughs> I can't wait to see what your first encounter is gonna be. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna just... get. I'm, I kind of want to snag this blossom from you. Oh, really? You want to snag that grass type? I snagged yeah. it. I snagged it. <laughs> That's fine. I haven't caught it yet, though. Then again, am I gonna kill this thing? Nah, I'm not I'm... gonna kill it with the rock. Oh my god, that lived on one! So you have to let me know if you catch it. You gotta let me know. Yep, I will. I right, did you get a blossom too? I don't know, did I? Did you get it? Um, I just threw a ball at it. I caught it. Okay. I got a Mewtwo! A Mega Mewtwo Y! <laughs> oh my god, it's Route 1. Yeah, you don't have to attack it. I was hoping I could get here before you. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Sal good. Salty, you're a little quiet over there, buddy. <laughs> This is not good. <laughs> oh my gosh. How the hell am I supposed to be a Mega Mewtwo? A pre-Mega Mewtwo. <laughs> Holy crap. <sighs> oh my. I'm going to call it, uh, I'm going to call you Fred. <laughs> of course, it's my Route 1 encounter too, man. Oh my god, the luck's turned around. The luck's turned around. The luck's turned around. Boys, I'm scared. I'm scared. I okay, I know I should be going fast, but I need to see what this guy's ability is, because it could be bad. Nope, it's got Sniper! <laughs> oh my god, that's so good! And it starts out at level 2 with Confusion. <laughs> Very salty. I, I don't like you anymore. We're not friends. Holy crap. Did I just kill this thing? I might just kill this thing. I messed up. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Thank God. I want to level. I, I, I need to level Fred up because I want to use it. And it's only level Please two. Please don't have it. 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 Okay. Come on, I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this. Ooh. What what do you what you encounter, Salty? What'd you encounter? Don't wanna tell you. Go ahead, tell me what you what you encounter. No, tell me. I don't me. wanna tell you, I don't wanna tell you, I don't wanna tell you. Go ahead, tell me. If I catch it, I'll tell you. That's rude. It's gonna be hard to catch though. Is that a status? I don't have any status moves right now, so you, uh, I don't have that on my side. Neither do I. But this thing may or may not have explosion, which is scaring me. What is it? Just tell me what it is. It's a Reggie Steel. Ooh, good thing my, dude, my, my Scyther has no. vacuum wave currently, so. <laughs> Me too. Earn, only learns Aura Sphere at level seventy, so I don't have to worry about that. Unless I get a TM, I literally know Vacuum Wave. Like I'm not even kidding. Uh, I don't care. I've got Rock Tomb on my freaking Lando. Bring out Vacuum Wave. Mm. I'm gonna waste all my balls on this. I need it. I need it. I need it. Okay, I've seen Stomp, Metal Claw, and Bulldoze. I'm really hoping the last one's not Explosion. Um, my my route to encounter is this Boink. Show me your fourth move. I just want to know if it's Charge Beam or not. I caught this point. I have another Psychic type on my side. My my main objective in this game is to not lose any encounters. Because that was my downfall in both the other times we played this. was me losing encounters. 
or letting them die. Okay, now I know it doesn't have explosion. But can you catch it? Because Reggie Gigas did not want to stay in my ball, so. Okay, so. I've only got one ball left. I have to. I, I think I'm gonna risk something here. You're gonna risk um, something? You're gonna attack it? Uh, it's already in the red. I've got my. My Blossom has Stun Sport. Thing is, it's only level two. This thing's level three. I know it can live one. Mm. I'm gonna see if it can live two. I'm gonna see if it can live two. It doesn't have anything super effective against it. Goes for the Metal Claw. The Metal Claw only does eight. It does seven, sorry. I've got eight health. I'm gonna risk it. Stun Spore. Oh! I got him on Inferno. Charge Beam. That won't kill. That won't kill. That won't kill. That won't kill. Nope. Gets a special attack raise. Don't care. Oh, and there you go. I've got Charge Beam for your Scyther. I'm fine. I'm sleeping pretty. You catch it. As long as I catch it. As long as I catch it. Last ball. It's in the red. It's paralyzed. Show it to me, baby. Show it to me. Nope. Show it to nope. me. Nope. Show it to nope. me. Nope. Show it to nope. me. Damn nope. it, Reggie. <laughs> Freak, you got the Monferno this time? Yes, Cerrito. <laughs> I had an Infernape last time. It literally wrecked shop on but Pancake's I, team. But I have to catch it, so... Well, that did way more. Oh, it was a crit. Yeesh. I it go, did. I have to go buy more balls. You No, no nothing wreck shop on my team except Flygon. <laughs> With Arena Trap. It was going... No, Infernape would have. Infer, I didn't have Infernape for the uh, lockout. I got it afterwards. This oh, no, true. I didn't. No, you had no, it. I got it. You I had it. I just... I you never didn't, used it. You, yeah, you didn't use any Pokemon. Yeah, my Flygon had the most busted moveset I've ever seen. It did. It did. You were literally cur you're literally like currently me that first time, the first playthrough, with that Regigigas. Mm -hmm. Trying to catch that Registeel in Route 2. And I got the Lando. <laughs> I know, literally. You're literally me. I don't think I'm going to catch this Monferno, though. It's not shaking at all. Uh, Never mind. I'm gonna I go get. It. I'm gonna go get my encounter and then we can wrap it up. I have psychic bug and fire right now. This is way. This is so good compared to the last one. This 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 block battle. These the lockout. The lockdowns are gonna be insane. Come. If it wasn't a. If it wasn't Mega Mewtwo, uh, that's here. That's one thing. I uh, know. This is grass also, but I'll take it. What'd you get? I got a bay leaf. Not bad, not bad. Not a huge Meganium fan. All right, question. After you I'm get your fan, after Meganium. after we get encounters, do we want to do any grinding between episodes to get some of our Pokemon a little bit higher level? So uh, yes, please, because I just killed my Bayleaf. <laughs> sure, that's fine. But um, well, I, would I mean, say... we could do off screen. This is only a lockdown. We we're allowed to do off-screen grinding either way. So yeah, exactly. I just want to know if you want to do it together, just because I don't. Yep. I, w I wanted to grind some Pokemon up a little bit. Sounds good. Yay! All right, I won the episode. Thank you guys so much for checking out this episode one of the lockout. If you guys did enjoy yourself, make sure you hit the like button. The playlist will be down below. This is only episode one, but we're gonna be going for a while. Um, this is a fairly new lock type, so we hope that you guys do enjoy yourself. Salty, do you have anything left to say for the people? Uh, nope. I just realized one of the moves I had in my Blossom, and I'm really happy. Alright. I got Sweet Scent. Oh, come on, man. Alright, boys. If you want to check out the next episode, and girls, if you want to check out the next episode and of Captain this Squirrels. series, it's going to be over on Salty's channel tomorrow on Wednesday, and then we'll be back to my channel on Saturday if you did miss the schedule at the beginning of the episode. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys later. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye. Stay salty.